Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Special Delivery Digital Background Shot by Anna Brandt. This is a Photoshop file. Upon download, you'll notice your folder is a zip folder. This means all the files are compressed. Inside, you'll find this Photoshop file, the video tutorial and the PDF shooting guide, which gives you lots of tips and tricks when it comes for shooting and planning for this digital background. You will need to extract the zip folder before you can open this up into Photoshop, watch the video or view the PDF. And you can do this on Windows by right clicking and choosing Extract All and choose where you want to save the files on your computer so you can access them later. Or on a Mac, you can use Archive Utility. Once you've extracted the file, you can go ahead and open up the LSP Special Delivery Digital Background in Photoshop. And it will look a little something like this. If you can't see your Layers panel over here, You'll need to come up to Windows and choose Layers to make sure it's visible. Over in the Layers panel, you'll notice you have the base layer, which is this one in pink. Above this, you can turn on the blue, if you'd wish to use the blue one, by clicking this little box next to it and making the eye appear, and this turns on the layer's visibility into blue. Or, above this, you have the rainbow base, which you can turn on to add the rainbow in there. And if you turn off the blue underneath, you'll notice the uh, blanket turns to pink. So you can decide pink or blue blanket on the rainbow base. So you can mix and match these to uh, create the look you're after. Above this, you have the Your Baby layer. This is when you need to place the baby image in and start masking. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And above this, you have a light texture you can add, just to add some texture to that background, if you want it to. I'm going to be using the LSP Digital Background Photoshop Actions to apply and blend baby to this image, but you can also do this by hand. If you wanted to go ahead and grab these actions, you can get them on the LSP website at www.lsp-actions.com and search in the Digital Background section, you'll see them there. But you can also add by hand. I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. Now it's important you've shot baby on a white background if possible, because that's going to be masking around the hair on here, it's going to make that so much easier. And if you've shot a knit underneath the baby, again, your life is going to be so much easier when it comes to editing. Make sure you've selected the Your Baby layer here in orange. And instead of copying and pasting your edited baby image in, make sure the image is edited so you fix the skin, make sure it's nice and bright and the image is going to suit this digital. Once you've edited baby, instead of copying and pasting, come up here and choose File, Place Embedded, choose the baby file and place it in. This keeps the resolution of your baby image, it keeps it high resolution, whereas copying and pasting actually degrades your image, uh, meaning it won't be high quality. I'm going to use the actions to apply baby, but this is the same as using the File, Place Embedded option if you don't have the actions. So go ahead and choose your pre-edited baby image on the computer. You're going to want an image which does have white behind baby's head, a baby in the front on head on hands pose works really well. Because I know you've probably gone ahead and bought this digital um, and now you're looking through your images to see what suits, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tricky edit by using this one on a pink. I'm using this one so I can give you a really good example of masking during this video. Choose place and you can see the light in this digital background is coming from the left. If the light in your image is coming from the right, you're going to need to right click and choose flip horizontal to make sure the light is coming from the right direction. Nothing gives a digital background away more than um, misplaced light. So resize the baby um, to make sure the elbows are resting nicely on the bucket here. I'm going to be masking away the rest of the body there. There's a little indent here which is really good for the elbow so you can make sure baby's elbow rests in there. You can also use liquify option as well to bring baby's arms um, and head in a little more. I'll show you how to do that. So for liquify you can come up filter and hit liquify. I like to click the show backdrop option and choose the base layer here. It gives you kind of an, um, an opacity overlay there so you can tweak baby around just a little bit if needed. Don't go overboard with liquify because it can be quite obvious if you're not careful or you're not used to using it. I'm just moving baby's elbows around there, just a little, just to curve these arms in to that natural lip of the bucket. If you're using the actions, a black layer mask will be added. If not, if you're mad editing by hand, you can come down here, add the layer mask, 
The little box looks a bit like the Japanese flag. It will add a white layer mask in. Hold down control or command, hit I. It will turn to a black layer mask, which means baby is now invisible. You can go ahead and grab a brush. On white. Normal, 100% opacity. Around 50% flow. I'd say a medium hardness. You don't want your brush too soft when you're um, masking baby back in because baby will have a fluffy kind of halo around them and that doesn't look very realistic. So nice and hard and don't be afraid to zoom in and get close to those edges. So you can start painting the baby in now using the white brush. Again, if you shot baby on white with a knit underneath, this is going to be super easy because you don't have to be quite so fussy about the, um, the cutout of baby here in the masking. If you're using um, an image like this, that isn't shot on a white background, you're going to have to really zoom in and get in close with that layer mask. I'm going to show you just how to do that. You switch to a black brush to hide. So a layer mask, anything you paint on in white will show. Anything you paint off in black will be hidden. But if you've shot on a white background, you can afford to be a lot more relaxed with your subject selection because they will blend in really well with the background already. But because this image was shot on pink, it means I'm having to put a little extra work into masking of this image here. When you've created your selection of baby, if you have any areas um, such as hair you want to mask, in the later versions of Photoshop you can come up here to select, choose select and mask, and you can use the refine edge uh, wand brush which is just up here in the middle, just to lightly stroke around the hair and this will help pick up any loose hairs and stray hairs. As with everything in Photoshop, it's not always perfect, but it can give you a really good base. But again, if you've shot on a white background, you're gonna find the editing a lot easier because you can just um, blend that in really nicely. Change your output settings to selection and hit okay. And you'll see marching ants appear around the baby. You can now use a brush to paint in the hair but again, you may need to zoom in and just double check this is all okay. When you're happy with your cutout, you can go on to the next stage um, of adding the shadows or you can hit Ctrl and Command T just to rotate baby a little more if needed um, to fit into this prop of the baby image. You see there, the baby image is still there. So the next step is going to be um, adding some blending layers in here. I'm going to play my add the main baby editing layers, but you can do this by hand by um, adding in adjustments down here, such as levels or curves. For example, we can add curves under the baby, darken everything down to add some shadows in. And when you're happy, hold down control or command, hit I. That will invert it and you can grab a white brush and paint this on. But because I'm using the actions, they've already done all this for me. You can paint some realistic shadows on there. If you sh um, shot baby with a pink layer underneath them, you can go ahead on a very low opacity white brush and start blending your natural uh, layer under baby in with this one. And that means you can retain some of the original shadows. It's all about blending your image with the digital. White means show and black means hide. You can see I've just gone in there and tweaked the masking a little more and I've added some of this original blanket in just around the knit but of course what you do really does depend on your image and how you can kind of think on your feet to blend those two images together. Now at this point you can add layers over the baby by adding an adjustment layer down here levels to darken or curves for example or a hue and saturation to color change. Just right click and make sure that you choose create a clipping mask so that it clips into this baby layer here and any changes you make will only affect that baby layer and not the whole image. So I'm just going to add a little more shadow over this side of the digital and a little lift and lighten here. These have already been set up for me um, using the LSP Photoshop actions but if you're adding manually you can add these layers in yourself. At this point as well if you wanted to change the colour um, of the blanket, for example if your baby is on a, I don't know, on a green blanket and you want to change the colour to pink or blue you can add a hue and saturation layer and just play around with that to add the, um, add the colour in. Control or Command I to invert 
and just paint that on um, wherever you need it to show. Let's give you a real time example on the blue here. So I'm just going to play with that hue and saturation there. Grab a white brush and I'm going to paint this onto the blanket where it needs to be changed to blue. Remember this is only affecting the baby layer, um, this is not affecting the digital. So I'm just going to use that to merge them together, double click the hue and saturation. Just move this into a tone that really matches. If you own the actions, the LSP digital background actions, you can play blend the colours and it will just do all this for you, um, makes it all a lot easier. Of course you still need to mask and paint in, but it sets everything up for you. So there you can see we've changed the colour to the original pink blanket to this blue tone here to match with the blue digital. Once you've added all the layers you need to blend baby in, in fact I'm just going to play this blend the colours option because this is going to give me a desaturation layer there and I'm just going to use that around the hair just to get rid of this pink cast that's still in the hair there. You can use your colour change um, once you've got it set up on any areas of your image. Let's just let that bow in just for uh, make everything match. So I'm going to go ahead and close the baby group there. So that was originally on the pink. Colour change to the blue. And you can turn the rainbow on or off if you want to. And if you've shot baby on a chunky knit on a white background, editing will be an absolute breeze. But I hope this video with a slightly trickier edit has given you some um, some good tips and some good tools to use when compositing baby in for a realistic composite. You can get this digital background at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.